But if we want to think of what Dr. Dre's major influences are, right? So, you know, kind of weave us through here is, you know, a couple major things that Dre did. Number one is uh, this element of replays and interpolation. Um, like I said, you know, he figured out how to um, basically cut out record labels from sampling and he'd have bands record cover versions, he'd sample those cover versions. That was huge, like, a very new, like, technique, you know, not commonly used because everybody wanted the, the sound from record. Dr. Dre was, you know, became the business dude. Like, there's no question that, you know, Homie became the first, you know, rapper turned billionaire when he sold his headphone brand, you know. Um, but he was kind of really good at branding and marketing and, um, and that's why he gets a lot of credit for things that put his brand name on it. I mean, Dre could put his brand name on anything and sell them. He did it with some mediocre headphones for a while. Um, and Dre, you know, other than the business and interpolation and replays, yo, man, dude knows how to, how, how to make shit sound fat. I mean, if you ever read about Dre in the studio or hear about Dre in the studio, he's always talking, always asking questions. He's always asking for feedback. He's very particular, and he wants his shit to bump. Um, so he's like a true record producer in the sense of he knows how to put a vocalist together with a beat and then do all the, like, the sonic tricks to make it sound fucking incredible. And that's really what he's known for. He's not really a technical innovator. He's no Paul C. He's no Pete Rock, no Large Professor. He's no Jay Dilla, whatever, with the beats but he knew how to make shit sound good. Anything sound good, and that was a major thing. His instrument of choice for a lot of this early era G-Funk music was the Akai MPC-60. Um, classic, classic sound in MPC uh, from, from that era. That was one of the main instruments that he was known uh, for rocking at that time, as well as the Mini Moog, you know, um, which was something he used a little bit more later.